Hey guys, what's up? Welcome in Java memory model interview questions and answer. In this video series, uh, basically we'll see uh, uh, all the concept related to the Java memory model and related questions. So let's move ahead. So when uh, someone talks about the Java memory model, then uh, either you go for the interview or uh, uh, you are working on uh, any existing project right you should have basic understanding about the java memory model uh, if you go for the interview question may be asked in the different ways and uh, this question like how heap space is divided into java what is meta space can you explain java memory mo model in much more details etc right so uh, thing is that you sh if you have a very good understanding of java memory model then all the question related to the java memory management you can answer very well so here uh, key points uh, first of all you need to keep in mind uh, uh, memory taken up by the java virtual machine is divided into a stack heap and non heap memory areas that's the first point second point his stacks are taken up by the individual threads for running the method code while heap is used to hold all class instances and arrays created using new operator yeah now when we talk about the non heap memory uh, it includes a method area shared among all threads and is logically part of the heap but depending upon the implementation a uh, java virtual machine may not invoke garbage collector on this part yeah so now uh, this is the basically uh, java hotspot virtual machine heap memory uh, structure uh, which is basically divided into different generations yeah so here if i talk about the, this part yeah this part this part is called this entire part is called basically heap size total heap size and that further divided into the two categories first is called young generation and second part is called uh, basically tenured uh, generation uh, or old generation and this is the non heap memory area that is called meta space meta space uh, you have available after java 8 onwards previous to java 8 you had a param gen is param gen memory right now let's talk about the each and every basically uh, generation uh, right so uh, first of all we will start from the uh, young generation uh, so here if you look into the, this uh, this uh, uh, basically this portion this portion is called basically young generation yeah so uh, this uh, further consists of one eden space and two survivor spaces right you can see the virtual machine initially uh, assigns all object to eden space and most objects die there itself when virtual machine performs a minor gc or minor garbage collection it moves any remaining object from the eden space to one of the survivor spaces so that's the all concept about the young generation okay so now uh, let's talk about the second part of the basically uh, uh, heaps heap memory area right so that is nothing but the tenured tenured generation or sometimes it is also referred as old generation virtual machine moves uh, objects uh, that live long enough in the survivor spaces to the tenured space in the old generation when 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 the tenured generation fills up there is a full gc or full garbage collection that is often much slower because it moves all the live objects so basically when we talk about the uh, uh, i mean minor generation minor garbage collection that happens in the young generation when you talk about the full generation right then that usually happens in the tenured space or tenured generation or old generation of the uh, basically heap area now when we talk about the uh, meta space right this is a category which called meta space or non heap area sometimes you can refer as that right this uh, basically meta space holds all the reflective data of the virtual machine itself such as a class metadata class loader related data garbage collection of the date classes and class loaders to class loader, loader is basically triggers once the class metadata usage reaches the max meta space size so what is max meta space size mean uh, meta space size that we will talk in the separate video uh, so we'll discuss over there right so even though uh, uh, you can see java hotspot memory model is divided into different categories and you can 
uh, tune it by setting the some size some uh, some uh, attributes so that we will take talk separately so that's all a high level uh, introduction about the java hotspot or java memory model now we will let's talk about the each and every uh, basically concept in little more details right now when we talk about the eden space and that is the part of heap itself right so here the pool from this uh, which memory is initially allocated for most objects so when you create any object using the new operator right new keyword that initially that objects gets created in the uh, eden space right this eden space uh, basically object initially gets created right and that's the part of heap itself now when we talk about the survivor spaces that is the still part of basically your young generation survivor 1 and survivor 2 uh, the pool containing objects that have survived garbage collection of the eden space so whatever uh, objects uh, survived uh, garbage collection in the eden space that moves into the uh, any of the survivor sp space yeah now when we talk about the next point uh, like uh, uh, tenured or old generation and that's a part of heap itself uh, the pool containing objects that have existed for some time in the survivor space which moves into the tenured or old generation of the heap now when we talk about the uh, meta space the pool containing all the reflective data of the virtual machine itself such as uh, uh, metadata of the classes objects and method uh, objects class loader related data right that's uh, that's basically survive in the uh, that's that's basically uh, ho ho hold by the meta space uh, there is a non heap area that is uh, also sometimes uh, referred as code cache right the hot spots java virtual machine also includes a code cache containing memory that is used for the compilation and storage of the native code when we talk about the native code means uh, as you know java from java code you can make call to the some native code like c c++ uh, related code uh, you can uh, you can call from the java inside the java so those kind of uh, basically uh, calling stuff uh, and related uh, related uh, related uh, metadata things uh, basically uh, uh, jvm keeps into the non heap area that is called code cache so that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope at least you have high level understanding of the java uh, memory model uh, in next video series i am going to uh, discuss about the multiple uh, uh, interview question which is basically will be dependent on the this concept itself so first of all you have to go through, through this video and then you can refer uh, next videos there i am going to discuss about the lot of question related to the java memory model itself so guys big thank you for watching this video i hope this video is very helpful for you and uh, if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjavatutorials.com uh, one thing I would like to ask you or uh, tell you if you did not subscribe my YouTube channel till then please do subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video.